For the last six years, I've been using Python. So in this video, I'm going to tell you the proper way to install Python and PyCharm so that you don't encounter with any problem. So first of all, I should go to python.org, which is the official website of Python. And then I should click on downloads. And here in this page, I should scroll down. And as you can see by the time of recording, the latest version of Python is this version. So I click on it. And here I should scroll down. And as you can see here, we can see some files. And because I'm on Windows and I have a 64-bit system, so I should click on this. And as you can see, it is downloading the file. So here is a file which I have downloaded. So I should right-click on it and then click on Run as Administrator. So there are a couple of important things. First of all, you should check this one at python.exe to path. And then you should click on Customize Installation. And in this page, you should press next. And here is the install location of Python, which is very, very important. Because for example, if you want to install some other softwares, for example, such as PyCharm, in that case, you need to know the install location of Python. So the install location is very important and you should know that install location. So suppose that I want to install my Python in this specific location. It is an arbitrary location. It doesn't really matter, but you should know the location. So that's it. So so I want to install Python in this location. After that, I press the install button. And as you can see, while it's installing, it is adding some files and folders inside this path. So as you can see, it says setup was successful. So I press close. And this is the Python interpreter. By the way, if you don't see the extensions, you should go to view and check this one, file name extensions. And now we can see the extensions of these files. So this python.exe is the Python interpreter, which is a very important file. And for example, if you want to install other softwares, such as, for example, PyCharm, you need to know the location of this specific file. I mean, this Python interpreter. But now in order to install PyCharm, you should go to Google and search for PyCharm download. And as you can see, this is the website of JetBrains, which is a company producing PyCharm. So I should click on it. As you can see in this page, the first option is PyCharm Professional, which is not free, but we want to install the free version. So here we should scroll down and as you can see, this is PyCharm Community Edition, which is free. So I click on download and now I should wait for the download process. And as you can see, it is downloading the file. So that said, you can see here is the file which we have downloaded. So I right click on it and click on run as administrator. So I press next. And once again, I press next. Remember that the install location of PyCharm doesn't really matter. The install location of Python did matter, but the install location of PyCharm doesn't really matter. So I press next. Once again, I press next and I press install. And I should wait for the installation process. So that's it. Now I check this one, run PyCharm Community Edition, and I press finish. And in this window, I press allow access. And if you saw this kind of window, so click on skip import. Otherwise, I mean, if you didn't see this window, so don't worry about it. So the first step is to create a new project. So I click on this. And this is going to be the name of our project. For example, I want to name it Kulak. So now I should click on this one, custom environment. And because we have installed Python in the first part of this video, so I want to use the existing file. So I click this one, select existing, and the type is Python, not Anaconda, because if you remember in the first part, we have installed Python. And now I click on this one, which says browse, in order to browse for that Python interpreter, which we have installed in the first part of this video. And now I should go to the place which we have installed our Python. And if you remember in the first part of the video, I emphasized that this location is very important. So I copy this location, this path, and I go to PyCharm. And here I paste this. And now I should scroll down. And as you can see here, we have python.exe, which is the Python interpreter. So I click on it and I press OK. And now after doing this, if I click on this arrow, you can see this is the exact path which we have introduced to PyCharm. So I click on it and I press create. And I myself prefer to click on this automatically option, which allows Microsoft Defender to configure all this stuff automatically. So I click on it. And also let's wait for all of these processes. 
And now let's maximize a PyCharm. So now I want to create a Python file. So in order to do so, I should right click on this folder, which is the name of my project. So I right click on it and I go to new and Python file. And for example, suppose that I want to name it code 01, I press enter. And before going further, I want to make the font size a little bit bigger. So I go to this, so I click on this and I go to settings and let's close this. And as you can see in this part, we have something called editor. So I click on the, on this section. And as you can see in this section, one of the options is a font. So I click on it and I want to, for example, change the font size to, for example, I don't know, 30 and let's press okay. And now let's suppose that I want to type something like this. And after that, if I want to run this code, I should right click in the middle of this page. So I right click here and I click on this one, run code 01. Code 01 is the name of our code, our file. So I, I click on it. And as you can see, this is the output. So I close the window and let's minimize this as well. And by the way, as you can see, this project panel can be minimized. I mean, it can be collapsed by clicking on this. And if you click on it again, it will be expanded. If you click on it again, it will be collapsed. By the way, on this channel, I publish short and to the point tutorials like this one about Python. So if you're willing, I suggest subscribing to the channel so you don't miss similar videos. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.